gosh guys it is so 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 hot today I'm trying so hard to not overheat right now hi guys and welcome back to my budget bread wedding series so today i'm going to be showing you my wedding invitations and how they actually look once they're all put together so first things first if you guys don't know i did originally order my wedding invitations off of zazzle.com they didn't really turn out the way that i envisioned them honestly so i ended up printing my own if you guys want to see that review and see how those invitations turned out i will put that video linked down below for you guys other than that let's just get right into it so i did order my wedding enclosures my rsvps as well as the invitation paper that i printed on i ordered it all off of amazon separately so first i'm going to show you what my gold sparkly enclosures looked like when i first got them out of the package and how they actually sent them to me and then we'll get into how my invitations look once they're all put together so let's get right into this video guys here we go. All right, so I finally got the wedding enclosures from Amazon. So this is how it came in this big thing. I actually got it shipped to the Amazon lockbox, but it came all like duct taped all the way around. So I'm gonna cut into it with scissors. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to cut them. These are one of the only ones that didn't have a review on Amazon, but they're the only ones that closed without a ribbon around it. Oh, and this. This is what they look like. All right, guys. So I did order all the different pieces of my wedding invitation separately. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's going to look when it's sent to people. And then I'll go ahead and give you a review on each different piece of my invitation, if that makes sense. So this is how it's going to look. We're just going to send it in these plain envelopes like this. Um, these did come with these super cute invitation sticker seals. These are like really metallic. I don't know if you guys are able to tell how pretty these are in my camera, but these are really pretty stickers. Honestly, all of the other ones that are put together, we sent out already. This is like the last one, um, but I want to show you guys what's inside here before we send it. So I haven't put the sticker on yet. And these stickers were sent with the gold enclosures that you're gonna see in a second, as well as these envelopes. So these envelopes came with the gold sparkly enclosures as well. Um, so that's what the envelopes look like. So when they open it, it's going to look like this. Pull it out, and this is how it looks when you pull it out. Sorry, guys. We did print our address on the RSVPs so people can just stick these in the mailbox with a stamp and send them to us. They don't have to worry about remembering our address. Um, but that's why I'm covering it up, just as a heads up. You get these um, RSVPs from Amazon.com. I originally bought these when I first found my Zazzle invitations. If you guys check out that Zazzle um, wedding review that I was talking about, you'll see that there's these same flowers on the edge of the invitations. And they sold RSVPs sort of like this on Zazzle.com, but they charged just as much as the invitations. So they wanted me to pay anywhere from like 80 cents to $2 per RSVP. So I was not about to pay for them individually. All right guys, so then this is what the back of the RSVP looks like. So there's a place for them to write their name, a spot to mark if they're coming or not. And then there's also a spot for them to write how many people are going to be attending. So this was so important to me to find RSVPs that had a spot to write that because we are having caterers come out so we need to have an exact head count of our guests. I absolutely love these and I think $10 is such a good price for 50 of these when normally they're priced individually. Next I'm going to show you the invitations. So these are what the invitations are going to look like. These are the sparkly enclosures that I was talking about. So these sparkly enclosures are so 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 pretty. This is what they look like on the inside. So yeah I think these are awesome. Um, I'm going to put a picture over here in different lights just so you guys can see these without the reflection because these are so gorgeous. I love the rose gold color. They do sell these in silver as well as a yellow gold, I believe. I did get these in a 50 pack from Amazon as well. Also came with 50 free sparkly printable invitations. So as soon as I found out that we weren't going to be using my Zazzle invitations, I did print on the 50 invitations. But the issue was that we changed venues right after we printed on all of them. So what we had to do was buy more paper. So that's why we ended up getting this sparkly paper for the invitations, which I absolutely love. I will put a link for this um, paper down below for you guys. We looked all over Michael's, all over Joanne's, and we could not find shimmery sparkly paper anywhere. Um, so what I ended up doing was, like I said, buying it off of Amazon. It did come like full printer paper size, and we ended up cutting it out ourselves. Um, 
but it's so pretty. I will put a clip over here for you guys just so you can see what it looks like in different lighting because it has a really pretty iridescent shine to it. It is a little thicker than regular printer paper, but it's not as thick as cardstock, just as a heads up. I absolutely love how these turned out. I think they're so, so, so pretty. And it didn't matter to us that the paper was so thin because we are, um, taping them inside of the enclosures with double-sided tape. So no one is gonna be able to tell how thin they are. And the enclosures are definitely on the thick side. So yeah, we weren't too worried about that. And I think these looked so pretty. I just really love how all the colors came together. So I'm gonna show you the very, very last thing that's going inside of our invitations, which are these detailed pages. Originally, they printed out this paper on like a printer-sized paper um, and had it folded up into fours and told me to just stick it right on top of my invitations and send it. It was huge, it was so ugly, it didn't match. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. You guys are gonna have to make it match. So we're just putting it in right behind it like this. Basically what this is is just a detailed paper that says the parking information. It tells them kind of like our schedule so they kind of know how the event is going to go. and kind of tells people that we will have a shuttle driving people from the parking to the ceremony site. I don't know if buying everything separately was cheaper since I had to reprint my invitations multiple times. Absolutely love my invitations. Literally everything that I talked about will be linked in the description box down below for you guys if you want to check it out. All right, guys, I think that about does it for this video. Don't forget to let me know what you guys thought of my wedding invitations in the comment section down below. I do post a new video for you guys every single week. I did just receive my fourth Miss to Miss box, so I'm going to be recording that video for you guys super soon. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button down there if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.